earth to a new life unless these brothers and sisters became a part of the village. These people were the great believers of Jesus' words, greater love has no one than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. They laid down their lives for the flower village, and in return gained resurrection of life in God. The Virgin Mary Hospital in Yoido, Seoul, another helper of the flower village, works here. Mr. Song Cho Su volunteered to become a nurse for patients from Kotong Ne, a job most people would frown at. He just couldn't bear to see the flower village people lying in the hospital with no one to look after them, when other patients were surrounded with families and friends. He helps ambulant patients as well as inpatients. He meets doctors with the patients and does all the paperwork for them. But it is never easy to take care of sick people. He was once a sailor, living a fast, reckless life. One day he was hit by tuberculosis, and the lower half of his body was paralyzed. Had he not been ill himself, he wouldn't have been able to understand what these people go through. He was reborn through a deep belief, and taking care of the Flower Village patients is more important than anything else to him. Mr. Song often comes to church to pray for a fast recovery of patients. Why has he taken this path strewn with trials? He curls up to catch some sleep. He rarely sleeps so he can take constant care of serious patients. He prays that he can go on helping and taking care of the Flower Village families until the day he dies, just as the late Miss Kim Young Sun did. The volunteers at Adok House organized a small birthday party for old ladies of the Flower Village. These ladies never knew what a birthday party was before they came here. Now, they are having a lot of fun thanks to brothers, sisters, volunteers, and families. Flower Village people no longer think they are deserted. Rather, they believe that God has invited them all to this feast of love. We are all one family, bonded strongly together with love.
the Gotongne office in Seoul. Father O celebrates Mass here once a month for another group of workers who support and care for the flower village. People gathered here are the members of the Flower Village Support Group who have put their lives' energy into this work from the very beginning of Gotongne. For 20 years, the members have eyewitnessed that a small amount of money can bring great happiness to the village people, so they never hesitate to give as much as they can. With an earnest appeal from Father O, the members started to gather beginning in 1981 to help those who did not have the strength to feed themselves. Their number has grown to the surprising figure of over one million. Early in the morning, Miss Pak Do Young heads for somewhere in a hurry. She collects membership fees from Kuk Dong Ne supporters who are too busy to come themselves, as well as to recruit new members. This morning she visited Dongdae Moon Market. <laughs> Merchants here who work all through the night do not seem to have time to worry about the flower village. But with the help of Miss Park, they never forget to pay a monthly fee for Kotong Ne members. Miss <laughs> Park used to own a shop here once. She started sending clothes to the flower village in 1985 and has continued her ties to the village to this very day. Miss Park is an expert in recruiting new members. She seems to have succeeded again today. <laughs> Nothing makes her happier than seeing supporters grow one by one. The merchants at the market say they are the ones who should be thankful to Miss Park. Because she always reminds them that there are people out there who need their help and support. Donations collected by Miss Park and other recruiters and delivered to the Kotongne office in Seoul on that day. The names of supporters are written on the cement sacks. These people are not merely sending money, but also love. There's an old saying that four eyes see more than two. It is people like Miss Park that make Flower Village miracles possible. They keep working hard in the background, whether they are recognized or not. These people are the driving force behind Gotongne. However, these benefactors say that they owe a lot to the Flower Village for making their lives worthwhile. In this hectic, bustling world, it's comforting to know that people still care for each other and share love. Maybe that's why Miss Pock's face is always lit up with a happy, bright smile. On the front of the training center of love in the Flower Village hangs a sign that reads, Happiness comes from a contented life. Is it true? And why do we need to love others?
Since the center opened in 1997, many students have come in an attempt to find the answer. Some of them come on a school journey, and some of them come for volunteer work. But the purpose of the center always stays the same. That is, not to let another person be deserted on the street. The Training Center of Love gives students the chance to learn about true sacrifice and love through the stories and lives of the many who've joined the Flower Village. They learn ways to lead a fulfilled, happy life through the spirit of Old Man Che, who had nothing in possessions but gave others so much. They learn the importance of not possessing and not dominating, but rather valuing other people. They learn the great power of love and peace that comes from overcoming hardships and difficulties. They also realize that love becomes even more powerful when it is shared with friends and neighbors. Your beginnings will seem humble, so prosperous will your future be. The story of how the Flower Village was started by a lowly beggar and a young priest is now becoming known throughout the world as a symbol of love that transcends race and nationality. Every student visiting the Flower Village comes to realize that even while they are endowed with so much more than the Flower Village people, they are much more discontented. The moments of discontent and despair are found in those lacking in love. At this center, they are awakened to the fact that through their indifference and ignorance, they can drive another person out onto the street to die. If you give love from the bottom of your heart, you can rekindle the light of hope. This is the true spirit of the Flower Village. This is why we must go on giving love. <laughs> Students are yelling and shouting on the playground of the Hindu School of Welfare Work. It is the athletic meet of the fall season. They are running as hard as they can. They came to this school in an effort to dedicate themselves to the welfare of needy people. The Yendo School of Welfare Work opened in 1999 with support from many parts of society. It was established by the combined work of Gotong Ne and the voluntary foundation of the Chengju Parish. It is an educational institute committed to producing welfare workers who can reconcile theory and practice by making the most of the more than 20 years of history at the Flower Village. But above all, students will be taught that the keynote is to fear God and to love our neighbors who God loves. It is never too late to learn. Sitting next to young students are welfare workers who came back to school after years at the front. Age hardly matters when their passion for learning and serving people in need is even stronger than that of their young classmates. During vacations and holidays, students of the Hyundai School work at many welfare facilities like the Flower Village. It is a good chance to gain hands-on experience and apply what they've learned in the classroom. The Yendo School of Welfare Work is going to be the cradle of a number of talented welfare workers with drive and compassion. <laughs> 